Every video that I used to watch on YouTube religiously uh, How to get into medical schools with low GCSEs, low grades Most of them have 10 A stars, 2 A star stars And a triple distinction star 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 Yo, welcome back to Meditic and Chill, bringing you cool to zoo, lowering content. I am so excited guys, I've already got my first sponsor already, and the sponsor of today's video is by Bad Grades. Yes, I repeat, Bad Grades. So back in 2016, I thought I was on the road to straight A's like Duracell. Energize. But that wasn't the case. After my GCSEs, I was forced I repeat, I was forced to join the British Beekeeping Association in Northumberland. Why? Because I had way too many bees. Look at me, do I look like I'm enjoying life? Do I actually look like I'm enjoying life? I got one A, I got five Bs, I got one C, and I got two Ds. I got double Ds, I don't even play Dungeons and Dragons. And one of the Ds was in French. French, can you believe it? Je parle le français. Je mange et je adore du poulet et du fromage. How that sentence alone doesn't get you an A star, I have no idea. I must have had a confused person marking my exam. It must have been a vegan terrian. I'll be. These. <laughs> These results spawn from a severely underperforming school. The only schools that done worse than my schools were special needs schools, no cap. But nevertheless, now this is very, very important. I still met the minimum entry requirements for medicine for a lot of the universities. So the entry requirements at the time I was applying was roughly about 5 A stars to C including a B in English and Maths. That was the bare minimum and, and I met that requirement. So this then means that if I get really good uh, UCAT score and really good A levels, medicine is still not off the table. I can make it up later down the line in further years. However, even though getting into medical school was still possible, I was so angry and distraught when I opened my results. When I opened my results, I thought medical school was over, like many or nighted. Like, if my results could dance, it would be Theresa May on a dance floor to Michael Jackson, bad. Part of the problem is that in school, I was moving like a deck of cards. I was acing classroom tests. This then gave me a false sense of hope where I thought I could just... Sorry, there's a... There's a... This then gave me a false sense of hope when I thought I could just walk into exams and just ace them easily with no revision, barely any revision shall I say. Looking back I made a lot of mistakes, I didn't work particularly hard especially when GCSEs came around and I didn't really work smart either. And I'm not going to lie to you man, I spent about 50% of my time revising, the other 50% I was watching CBBC, watching 4 o'clock club, next step and horrible histories, partly for history, and no, that is not why I got a D in history. My teacher done me dirty and lost my coursework. I was one of two people to write out the coursework, everyone else done theirs on computer, but I decided to write mine out, and he lost it, and come results there opened up, I got a U, I got a U in my coursework, and that dragged my grade down to hell. This is why I do not trust anyone with the name Hoy because that's your backwards gonna fail. I should have read the terms and conditions on this bloke. No surprise, he didn't even turn up to results there. Now, I didn't get the worst grades, but when you're applying to medical school, the mentality kind of switches and changes. You go from uh, thinking A stars are great, A's are good, and B's are kind of substandard, it's, it's not the grade you want to be getting. And now when that makes up the vast majority of results, it's not a good look, it's not a good look. And honestly speaking, I don't know anyone who's gotten into medical school the worst GCSEs than I got. Every video that I used to watch on YouTube religiously, uh, how to get into medical schools with low GCSEs, low grades, most of them have 10 A stars, 2 A star stars, and a triple distinction star star star. Like, these videos have more caps than Peter Shilton, Wayne Rooney and David Beckham combined. However, if you actually done worse than I did, 
please drop that down in the comment section so you can help someone out because it just gives people extra motivation them knowing well what if I got this grade and it's worse than my grades and you got in so if you got worse grades than I did please just whack it down in the comment section and we're here to help man this is a community setting now if you're in a similar situation than I was and you've met the bare minimum requirements it's not over it's not boys to men it's not the end of the road Instead, what I need you to do is change your mentality and you need to start thinking more like this is where I went wrong, how can I improve? Now if you don't meet most of the entry school requirements there's probably one university left that you can apply for without retakes and that's Cambridge University but best believe you're expected to get straight A stars later down the line um, but why did I say Cambridge? Now, this is one of the most important parts of the video so make sure you're listening up Ecoutez. Now bad grades means you've basically just met the entry requirements for a majority of uni That's what bad grades and it will disadvantage you like having halitosis on a dating market Hey, I see you Google searching halitosis, yeah Well, uh, that explains everything. Now nah, I'm joking, my breath smells like roses first thing in the morning. Okay, uh, moving on. To get into medical skills. To get into medical school now, you have to do research, 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 and research. This is your new part-time job. Welcome. You are officially hired. No more, no longer do you have the opportunity to pick medical schools like it's a pick and mix nah instead you need to move like you are playing chess strategy will lead you to victory the most important document you have to read now is the medical school's cancelled document and i've linked that in the description below read it and read it carefully now it kind of makes sense why i put cambridge in there although be honest it's, it's still beyond the list. If you got worse GCSEs than I did and you're applying to Cambridge, then I'm praying for you. So, what you now have to do is you need to go straight to the GCSE section. You see it? You need to go straight to the GCSE sec section. Section, section. You need to go straight to that section, and what you need to do is rank every single university. And we're gonna rank the top ones, the ones that require the least amount, and the ones you're more likely to get into based on GCSEs alone. If you're not too sure, you need to call the medical school on your cell phone late night when you need their love, love, help. Also, and I have to stress this, you need to work your butt off in A-levels. The same mistakes you were making in GCSE, you can't make them again in A-levels. And then that will give you the best chance to offset poor GCSEs. And that's the aim. The aim is to offset them. If you're not retaking, you need to offset them and you need to improve in other areas of your application. And in my, and in my case, I tried to offset my really poor GCSEs with stellar A-level results. It flopped. We'll find out more in the next video. Now, applying to medical schools, it is actually like a game of chess. GCSEs is just one component of this whole process, which also includes your A levels and your medical entrance exam, and to a lesser extent, your personal statement. The better you do, the more choice you have in your hands. It's, it's that simple. Then, and only then, can you pick medical schools like it's a pick and mix. Now, hold on. Speaking about pick and mixes, those sour bottles, did you not just love them? If you did like those sour bottles, then you need to make sure you hit that like button. And if you didn't like those sour bottles, then what you need to do is, you need to subscribe, then you need to book a consultation with a taste budologist. You might have a chronic condition, bad tasteitis. Please just let me know in the comments below if you're that person because my expert comment section is here to help you. Now, just to finish this off, GCSEs become more and more irrelevant as you climb the academic ladder. No one really cares about the GCSEs I got now. They're, they're pretty irrelevant. Obviously, I'm in medical school now, so either way, but once you get past like getting a degree and stuff, like GCSEs is just one of those things that you have. Uh, yeah. So don't kick yourself down if you've got bad grades, please don't kick yourself down. Suck those tears up and make sure you work hard and you work smart.
now there's enough medit to go around so make sure you share the video please don't be selfish and make sure you smash the meditics out of the like button and then I'll see you in the next video. Peace.